Hello, everyone. It is Monday, April 24th, and my name is Karen Connolly. I'm with the Situate Select Board. This is our weekly news update. Joining me today is Jim Boudreau, our town administrator, and uh, we will not be having uh, Bill Burkhead on. He had another commitment, but I welcome everyone back from school vacation and hope everyone had a great time. Uh, up on the uh, list of things this week that I'd like to tell you about quickly. We do have a select board meeting with the school committee tomorrow night at 630 to appoint an interim member of the school committee to fill a vacancy. That vacancy will eventually be filled after the town election that's coming up in May. Um, and uh, we do have a regular meeting of the select board tomorrow night starting at seven. On Wednesday, this Wednesday, there is a meeting about a 40B project on Old Oak and Bucket Road, and that is being held by the Zoning Board of Appeals. It is a hybrid meeting, which means that you can attend in person at Town Hall at 7 p.m., or you can attend via Zoom. So if you have an interest in that, uh, you should think about it. Uh, there are many other meetings this week. It's a busy week on the town calendar. So if you're interested in any particular meeting, please uh, go to Situate ma.gov and look at the calendar. And finally, I'd like to mention, I, I occasionally hear that people don't understand that you can actually get emails from the town on a regular basis about topics of interest to you. So if you're interested in that, go to situateMA.gov. Right on that first page, you can click on subscribe to news, and there's a list of all kinds of committees and groups that you can ask to uh, be sent their agendas or information from them. So with that said, I will turn it over to Jim. Good morning. Welcome to the last update in April. Our next update will be in May. Hard to believe we're getting that far out of the season, but um, it is what it is. Time marches on, right? So the water update, uh, the reservoir is at 1.5 plus. Two weeks ago, we were at plus two. Tack factory plant is at plus two. Uh, last time we reported, we were at 2.25. Average daily demand for the past week was 1.097. And that's down from the 1.136 million gallons a day of our last report. Rainfall over the last seven days was 0.05. That doesn't include yesterday's rainstorm. This is measured Sunday to Saturday. So uh, 0 0.05 measured at the plant. Uh, the water department will continue their flushing this week, starting tomorrow. They're in training today. I'll go to the town website to see exactly where that flushing will be taking place. Starting May 1st, which is next Monday, the town will be imposing our annual water conservation restrictions. Between May 1st and September 30th, all outdoor watering must occur before 9 a.m. And after 5 p.m., automatic irrigation systems may be used only one day per week based upon your voting precinct. Go to the Water Department page on the town website, uh, and you can figure out which day you may use your automatic irrigation system. This is a state-imposed restriction uh, just based on the usage for our entire catch area for our aquifer. So uh, we will keep monitoring our water. And if we need to make a further ban, we'll make that announcement later on. But this is the annual ban that is put on every year uh, because of state restrictions. Selco has continued to do their work on the water treatment plant so we can put the water through the new green sand filter there and take care of the brown water issues we had this past summer. Uh, if people will recall, we had originally scheduled training for the town hall in December. Uh, the town hall is going to be closed on Friday. We have rescheduled that training due to a COVID outbreak that we had at the town hall in December. So that training will be this Friday. Town Hall will be closed this Friday morning for training. Uh, the Library Council on Aging and Recreation will be closed in the morning. They will open at noontime. Uh, all town departments, uh, regular town departments will take part in this training. This is something that pre-COVID we did once or twice a year to make sure everybody gets the correct mandatory training. So we'll be getting back into this now that COVID has finally left us. So we apologize for any inconvenience. We will put a signboard up. Uh, but most town departments will be closed this Friday morning until noontime, and then those departments that are open Friday afternoon will open uh, at the conclusion of the training. The annual town election is May 20th at the Citroen High School gym. Polling hours are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. May 10th is the deadline to register to vote in Citroen if you are not already registered to vote here. Absentee ballots will be available in person in the town clerk's office starting next week, the first week in May. The deadline to absentee vote in person is noontime on Friday, May 19th. Vote by mail applications and a sample ballot can be found on the town clerk's page of the town website. Uh, also on the town clerk's website, you can get an application to vote by mail, uh, print out that application, fill it out, 
and submit the vote by mail form to the town clerk's office if you'd like a ballot mailed. The deadline to request a mailed ballot is May 15th. Mailed ballots must be returned to the town clerk's office or town hall drop box prior to the close on election day. Those ballots do not go to the election. They either come to the town hall or get dropped off the election box. So please don't bring those to the election on May 20th. Uh, just quickly, we had the annual town meeting on May 10th. I'd like to thank everybody who participated. Uh, good town meeting. We went through the articles in very brisk fashion. But as always, the town uh, meeting members came prepared. We had some good debate. So thank you to everybody who participated. Uh, I can't believe it, but uh, our finance director has already sent out the schedule for the FY25 town meeting uh, last week. We just finished FY24, but we'll be getting right on to starting to plan for next year's town meeting. So uh, hopefully we'll see you in the fall or again next year at the annual town meeting. If you're down on Ann Vinyl, uh, we are still working on the sidewalk from Holland Street heading up past Captain Pierce. Uh, please be cautious in that area as we do the work. Uh, that's a completely new sidewalk. Uh, we will just be putting down the base coat on the sidewalk. The gas company will be coming in and putting in a new gas line and new laterals. And once that is done, then we will finish the sidewalk and the gas company will be repaving uh, and vinyl. The town's contract, the National Water Main, will begin the first phase of our soil inflow and infiltration project, our INI project this week. They'll be inspecting pipes in the Egypt Ave and Alden areas, moving into Sand Hills in the current weeks. After the investigation process is complete, they will return and begin the process of cleaning and lining the sewer pipes. Uh, INI work makes repairs to our sewer pipes, removing groundwater and stormwater from the pipes, thereby increasing the capacity in the system, reducing the amount of flow that goes to our plant, saving us costs as we have to treat that water, and also makes repair to the systems to prevent future blockages. If you have any questions about what's going on, you can call the sewer department at 781-545-8736. Uh, as always, no good deed goes unpunished. Situate has taken part in the Community Choice Electricity Program. We've announced that several times and everybody should now be enrolled. However, several communities that are doing that process with us uh, have let us know that their residents are now being targeted by scammers. They've received scam emails and texts with regards to the electricity program. Uh, please be aware, we do not contact you by email, text, or telephone on this project. So if you're getting calls from someone saying they ever saw us or saying they're the community choice, uh, it is not them, it is not us. Uh, it is someone trying to scam. We do not have any reports of that in situ, uh, but we have had reports of it in some of our surrounding communities that we're doing this program with. So we have put a scam alert on our website. It's right on the left-hand side at the top of the news column if you'd like to go and click on that. But as always, please be aware uh, scammers are getting better and better. I keep getting texts telling me that my uh, Netflix account is going to be shut off if I don't call and give them my, my new debit card information. Scam, if you get things like that that are unsolicited, please be very careful about clicking or calling on those. We are again doing the Citric uh, Rain Barrel Program with the Great American Rain Barrel Company. We provide residents with rain barrels at a discounted price of $89 per painted barrel. $84 for unpainted barrels and $80 for terracotta. Uh, over the past two years, Citrate residents have purchased more than 300 rain barrels. They're a great way to capture some water, water your garden, water your plants, water your tomatoes. Uh, orders must be received by the end of this week, April 30th, and pickup will be May 13th at the transfer station. Further details, as always, are available on the town website. The work on Central Field is starting this week. I'm about you today. There is a small excavator out there. Uh, this will be a renovation of the existing baseball field and the installation of a new softball field. Uh, that work will take a couple months. We expect to be done now in late spring. Uh, the field is still permanent for work that can be done up there by recreation. Uh, but when it is done, we will have a really nice new softball field for the softball league. And the baseball field will be redone for Little League and baseball. So we're excited about that. About that. Uh, but there will be some inconvenience in that project that's going on over the next several weeks. And that is what I have for today. Great. Thank you, Jim. And have a wonderful week, everyone. And happy almost May.